Former NFL star Michael Orr is making headlines this week, as you just saw, with a lawsuit against the Tui family. Orr and the family were the subject of the hit film, The Blind Side. But now Orr is speaking out against the family and the film. It comes on the heels of the release of his new book, where he's sharing lessons learned from a lifetime of adversity. Ephraim Graham brings us his story. Blanco, well, it was hit when he threw it. And Michael Orr, the rookie right tackle, caught it. Michael Orr beat the odds, rising from homeless on the streets of Memphis to enjoying eight seasons in the NFL as an offensive tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, the Tennessee Titans, and the Carolina Panthers, until injury sidelined his football career in 2016. When I started this journey a long time ago, uh, I was just chasing to be comfortable after I was done with football. <laughs> <laughs> my back was against the wall all my life. From the time I was three years old, my first memory is being homeless. Three to 10, that was in and out of foster care, shelters on the streets. With a father lost to the prison system and a mother lost to drugs, Orr's orphan story is one many think they know. You remember a story in the papers a while back about a a man who fell off an overpass. From the Academy Award-winning 2009 film, The Blind Side, inspired by Orr's life. Many of us came to know your story through the movie, The Blind Side. If you could go back and change, rewrite that movie in any way, what would you do? What's missing is a kid that, a kid that was already on a, path and he was well on his way and a lot of the hard work from from three years old to 18 is when I moved in uh, with the family mm -hmm. in less than a year and I was off to college. It was another family who uh, helped me along the way. We're very grateful. A lot of hard work taken from me. It's more to the story, yeah. you know, and uh, holding back a little bit, and you'll 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 know more later after this interview. But and in the weeks following our interview, we learned at least some of the more to Orr's story. He filed a lawsuit against the Tui family, arguing the movie was a lie and he was misled into a conservatorship that allowed the family to make millions. Or calls this a difficult situation for him and his family, but says the lawsuit speaks for itself, and he has no further comment. Members of the Tui family call the lawsuit hurtful, devastating, outlandish, and absurd, but pledge they'll continue loving Michael Orr. But it's about healing mm -hmm. and knowing who you are. Michael's legal battle comes as he opens up about his emotional battle doing the work in therapy to heal adult and childhood trauma in order to be a better husband and father for his college sweetheart and their four children. How does that translate for you to fatherhood? You, you've got kids as well, and you had a difficult childhood, and now you're shepherding some young ones yourself. You know, for me, that was easy. Oh. I've always wanted that, and I knew what I wanted. I, I was going to do the total opposite of the things that I had to go through as a kid. You know, I wanted to be there for my kids. It's the greatest thing, joy in the world for me. Mm -hmm. Nothing's better. Uh, so just to know someone's counting on you and you have to be there, you're mentoring, you're uh, laying that foundation. Uh, I mean, it's, I get mad at fathers that's not involved. <laughs> Understood. I can't stand it. Fatherhood and life after football is about leaving a legacy. Now, you have a new book, When Your Back's Against the Wall. This is the second book for you? Yes. What made you want to pen this book? I have a sense of duty to the other young kids out there like myself that's growing up, and I'll be letting generation after generation down if I don't get out here, continue to spread my message, and let them know that you can be successful coming from where I came from uh, in whatever situation that you're in. My back has been against the wall all my life from three years old to when I was my last year in the NFL. I wanted a diff different narrative for myself. 
Changing narratives and writing success stories is the inspiration behind Orr's latest project. And you have a foundation doing the work to inspire other young people like who face what you face. That, uh, it is. It's a, it's, a, it's a great feeling. I want the smartest kid. I want the most talented athletically. But I just wanted it. And I was going to be, I was disciplined and consistent. Just to sit down and actually meet someone like me, it was, it was the most inspiring thing ever. I'm like, man, I leave out, I have to get to work <laughs> because I want to save all these kids. Oh, beautiful. I want all of them to come, to my, come through my foundation. And the former football player feels even more like the father he never had, especially for those children coming through his foundation who are actually starting school this fall. Ephraim, thanks for being with us to talk about this. This mm -hmm. story has a lot of people sad. Yeah. I mean, there's some discouragement out there because this was such and is such a wonderful story, mm -hmm. we presumed. Mm -hmm. But now we can also presume there's been a lot of tension for a lot of years. Do you have a take on this? Uh, indeed. The tension actually, unfortunately, began uh, not long after the movie was released. Uh, many people feel, okay, the movie was successful. Michael Orr began to slowly speak out against the movie even then, but was kind of had his hand slapped, if you will, by some people, including the actor in the film who said, wait a minute, why are you going to speak out against such a great movie? You, you know, you're doing well on the football field. Um, but he was trying to say, this is not my story. This isn't the way it happened. You think um, he thought it could affect his NFL career? And yes, and he, feel, he says in his book, actually both books, that it did because he's playing and trying to get on other teams when his time is up. And he always felt that coaches were second guessing his ability because he's portrayed in the film as illiterate. He's portrayed as sort of new to football. And you know, if you think about it, that couldn't have been true. He was actually good at track and field. He was good at basketball and he was good at football. Uh, and the Tui families have even said in their book, uh, the one thing they regret is the thought that in any way that Michael Orr needed saving. He did not need saving. He actually was well equipped and smarter than we believe him to be based on the film. Okay, so this is, I believe, his second book. Yes. The book's out, just came out. Mm -hmm. Lawsuit just filed. Yeah. So a cynic would say, new book, lawsuit, the timing's questionable. What do you think? Uh, I wouldn't say the timing is questionable, but I think the timing is literally for him uh, about growth. He's been away from the game for a while. He's only now looking back at the impact of because he kept his head down doing the work. And that's his personality when you meet him. If he's got a project, he's zoned in on it. So now that he's been out of football and focusing on his life, his family, he's kind of evaluating things that happened. And he wrote the book as a result of that and said, okay, can we correct some things? I will say this for people and for that family, both of them. Um, the one thing I like, if I can say like, watching this all unfold and hearing interviews and reading is you can see the love on both sides. Mm. You can see that Michael Orr doesn't want the Tui family disrespected. You can see the Tui family saying, we will never speak ill of Michael. And yes, he may be owed more money as a result of the film. Yes, he may not have got his fair due. Yes, the, the movie didn't necessarily fairly represent him, um, but there's still love there. And they've all said, you know, when this is all said and done, we hope we can get back to Christmases together. We hope we can get back to being together. So this isn't a money issue. I don't believe it's a money issue at all. The Tui family very well off. It is known that uh, Sean Tui Sr. Uh, owned a bunch of uh, fast food franchises. He sold those for more than $200 million. And Michael had a good Michael, career. Michael yeah. had a great career. He made at least $30 million. I don't think it's a money issue. They did not get wealthy off the back of Michael Orr, but Michael Orr may not have gotten the financial um, that he was deserved as a yeah. result of the film. We appreciate you sharing your insights, Ephraim. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks very much. And by the way, the book is called When Your Back's Against the Wall. And of course, you can buy it wherever books are sold.